Terrifier 3 is a sick and twisted movie, and the people who made this are obviously disturbed individuals. Six foot four and full of muscle. Mark, Mark. What's up, Mark Haynes? Doing stuff. I just got out of the theater from seeing the movie Terrifier 3. Before we get into that, check out this shirt featuring yours truly from the movie Stream. These are available at Scare Pros in Levittown. You can also order online from the Scare Pros store. I'll try to put a link in the description. I don't get any money from the proceeds of this, but you should still buy it anyways because it's a sweet shirt. And make sure you check out Stream. Uh, coming to theaters, or no, not, it was already in theaters, coming to uh, Amazon Prime and different, uh, different uh, platforms October 15th. So it's made by the same people that make the Terrifier movies. So I had to go see Terrifier 3 tonight to support, uh, you know, the makers of this, my movie stream, and uh, made good friends with a lot of them. So uh, I'd like to give you my thoughts on uh, Terrifier 3 as I um, just finished watching it. Um, it, was a, it was a gore fest, uh, you know. David Howard Thornton, who I know um, pretty well now, because he was also in, in stream with me. He was, uh, you know, he plays Art the Clown, and uh, he does a fantastic job. He has a background of being a mime, which you can see uh, the way he, when he displays his character, how he brings all of that uh, miming into the, into the kills. Um, this movie's really not for children. There's not really any nudity or sex in it, but just the the gore and the blood. It's uh, probably the most disgusting movie I've ever seen in my life. And that's saying a lot because I've seen, you know, I have seen a lot of different, you know, the slasher, the old school slasher stuff. But, um, you know, what I like about the way Damien Leon does all the effects, you know, it's not a bunch of CGI, it's nothing, nothing like that. And, and some of the things, I still don't know how he did it with the, uh, with the kills. Like, it looks pretty realistic, the way, um, it looks like the people are actually being killed. And, uh, it's very impressive the way, you know, they do all that. This one, you could tell, has a bigger budget than the, um, the other, the first two Terrifier movies, which were, um, a lot of it was crowdfunded. This one, you could tell it was, it was more mainstream appeal. Um, the theater I went and saw it at was completely, uh, full. It was crowded. And I think that's, I mean, it's been selling out theaters all weekend long. And, uh, they're saying it's going to do better than the Joker movie, the second Joker movie in theaters. And, you know, for being like an independent, uh, group of guys who make films it's it just blows me away how uh how awesome it is i'm so proud of everybody uh, that was involved in the in the movie they actually had me audition for terrifier 3 for one of the scenes and uh i guess they didn't go with me which means i'm hoping that uh the next one they have something bigger in mind for me but we'll see you know never never can be too sure but uh Yes, this is my first time seeing it. I didn't get a chance to go to the premiere because it was at a, a smaller venue and they didn't, they couldn't bring all their friends and everything. So um, I was really, uh, you know, blown away with with uh, a lot of the performances by the actors on there. Um, the main girl who plays Sienna, uh, Lauren, she does a great job and uh, you can tell she really gets into character and just even everybody that was involved with it. Um, everybody did the acting was phenomenal. I thought so. Uh, I loved everyone's performance. Daniel Roebuck. He's great in it. Um, not as good as he was in stream because his character in stream was really funny. So you have to, you have to make sure you see him in that. But, uh, yeah, this is, it makes you excited for Christmas time too because it takes place uh, at Christmas, which I'm sure you can tell by the by the previews, everybody who's seen that. So, um, you know, there's not too many good slashers that take place at, at Christmas time. So it was really, 
it was really cool to see how they did this, how they put it all together. It was interesting. And um, yeah, the the music was great in it. The, the special effects, everything. They did such a good job with this movie. And I know I'm kind of biased because, you know, I, I know the people in it. So take my review for what it's worth. But it was just a, it was a fun slasher. I wouldn't bring like my parents, they wouldn't be able to handle something like that. And you definitely don't want to bring children to it. Um, people probably, you know, you hear stories of people walking out of the theater. I will say that this movie, nothing was off limits. So, um, if you're someone who's easily offended by, by something, you know, no, no character is safe. And, and I'm sure as you know, from the previous Terrifier movies, um, it's a slasher where no character is safe. You know, in the first Terrifier, they kill off the main character, you know, pretty early. So it's one of those type of movies. They're not afraid to um, push the line. So uh, if you're not into that type of thing, if you're uh, looking at this as being, it's they try to they try to push the line. They try to do something different than what you see from uh, other other uh, movies of the same type of genre. They're trying to be different. So and I I commend them for that. And um, yeah, I I don't know how they come up with some of these storylines. It's pretty uh, pretty twisted. Some someone there has a few screws loose, but that's uh, that's how we like it. So um, make sure you check it out. Uh, Terrifier 3, it's in theaters. They have like even popcorn buckets, all kinds of merchandise for it. And then uh, if that's what you're into, you know, you'll definitely love this movie. So check that out too. And uh, keep following this channel for more stuff. Mark Kane's doing stuff. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate you guys.